Happy New Year's and welcome to Kenny's Cantina, Eating in Style on the Road. Tonight I have a quickie show to help you ring in the new year. What better way to celebrate a new beginning than to mix up a unique cocktail? It's been a while since I introduced you to my Chihuahua cocktail in Season 1, Episode 12, and tonight I have a very unique cocktail for you, a Berlin Station Chief. It's a smoky gin martini that's easy to make and tastes fantastic. The cocktail comes from Norman Mailer's 1991 novel, Harlot's Ghost, about a CIA agent stationed in Berlin in the 1950s. Now, I just downloaded the book to read all 1155 pages, so I'll let you know how that goes. The cocktail is perfect to serve to guests, and it'll take you back to the heyday of martinis. It's, it's unique, and it's not for everyone, but it has become one of my favorite cocktails. But be careful, they are potent. Now, I was introduced to this cocktail this past summer at my friend's wedding in Alaska. Ryan Fitzpatrick, a fellow groomsman, actually has a home cocktail menu for his guests. It's pretty cool. On his menu is a Berlin Station Chief, and I just had to try it. Oh man, I, I thought it was great, and I've been sharing it with my guests ever since. Now, I'm going to share it with you. Now, prep time, oh, about five minutes to whip up this cocktail. The recipe that I'm giving you serves two, so you can share it with someone. And the ingredients, pretty simple. Four ounces of good quality gin, one ounce of heavily peated scotch, and lemon peel. First thing we want to do is to chill the martini glasses with ice. Let me get some ice. One thing I like about my rig is I have an ice maker in my refrigerator. Okay, so we're going to let those... I sit in the glasses and chill that down. Now I'm going to take the gin and add it to a uh, shaker or cocktail mixing glass. I've got a cocktail mixing glass with the ounces on the side, so that works out good for me. So let me pour that. Okay. All right. Next, we're going to take the scotch, and I'm going to add that in. Let me get some more ice. And I'm going to stir this, get it nice and stirred. That's chilling, and you get a little ice melted into that. Get that stirred up real good. Okay, and now I'm going to let that set for a minute and take my ice out of my martini glasses. And I'm going to take a lemon and get my peeler and just peel off a couple slices of the peel. It just gives it a little hint of lemon when you do this. Let me put that in. All right. And let me stir this up a little bit more. Let me take my strainer now and evenly pour this across the glasses. Want to be fair when you do this. All right. And that is it. So cheers. Mm. Ooh, I do love these. You get the botanicals out of the gin. And that scotch gives it a great smoky flavor. Ooh, tonight I'm sharing cocktails with my friends Kristen and Joe. And by the looks on their face, it's a, it's a big hit. So now some tips on this. Like I said, this is great for a cocktail party to have a unique cocktail. But now one thing, it's not for everyone. So what I like to do is I'll make a batch up and let people give it a try before I pour a... Uh, full one for them just so that they can taste it and when you're making this cocktail you want to use a good quality gin for it and the scotch for this cocktail needs to be heavily peated scotch this is where you get the smokiness and scotches from islay are a good choice as they have a heavy peat to it now one thing though islay single malt scotch is not cheap i think i paid 70 dollars for a bottle but at one ounce at a time for two cocktails, it'll last you a while. If you want a less smoky flavor, you can always reduce the amount of scotch that you put into the cocktail. That becomes taste preference as to how much smokiness that you like. Let me get another sip of this before I go on here. Mm. Oh, God, that's good. So I hope you enjoy your Berlin Station Chief cocktail. 
Now, since it's New Year's, the time for parties, I thought I'd point out some of my past shows that offer great snack foods that are perfect for parties. I do like to entertain, and I love sharing cocktails, meals, and conversations with friends. So here are a few recipes over the last few seasons that you can share with your friends at your New Year's Eve party, or heck, any party for that matter. Check out my website, kennyscantina.com, for all these great shows and recipes. Now let's start at the beginning. Season one, episode one. My debut episode is my two-minute salsa. It's a quick, easy recipe for a great-tasting salsa that I serve at most of my parties. Next is my breakout episode that folks love. It's my smoked salmon spread, season one, episode three. The spread is easy to make and packed with flavor. A friend of mine just made this for his Christmas guests, and boy, did the folks love it. Now, if you're wanting to serve a little bit more, consider serving a shrimp boil for your party, or you can just prepare the shrimp and leave out the corn and potatoes and chill it for your party. Check out my shrimp boil show from season one, episode six. And how about a flavorful chicken salad that's great for a party? Try my curry chicken salad, season one, episode 10. There's no cooking involved and it's quick to make and oh man, it tastes great. So who doesn't like guacamole? It's always a fresh tasting appetizer. You can find my recipe for this great tasting dish in season one, episode 11. Let's move on to season two. Whip up some pimento cheese from episode four. My pimento cheese is a great spread. You can put it on crackers. You can also use it to make finger sandwiches and spread it on celery for some crunchy goodness. Now, if you want to serve a lot of people a meal, but you don't want a lot of work during the party, check out season two, episode eight for my shredded beef tacos. I fed 25 people in Alaska last summer and still got to enjoy the party. For a spicy, crunchy snack, whip up some of my Cajun oyster crackers. They're sure to be a hit. People will be munching on these throughout the party. See season two, episode 11 for this recipe. And finally, don't forget my Christmas show, season three, episode two, for my mom's cheese ball. It's a great tasty treat that you serve with crackers. So check out all those recipes on kennyscantina.com and your party will be a success. Now for my next show, I'm working on a recipe to utilize some of the holiday leftovers. I can't tell you much about it yet, as it's not ready for prime time. I'm hard at work in the Kinney's Cantina test kitchen perfecting the dish. I can say it's gonna be quick and easy. It'll also give you a way to creatively work through your leftovers. So stay tuned for this exciting dish. Now thanks to all my viewers for joining me over the past year. I love sharing my recipes with you and love all the feedback and questions. I hope you find my recipes helpful in your New Year's celebrations. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't worry, I'll be answering your questions from previous shows in the next episode. Also, thanks to IBC Productions and the Roadhogs Media Network for getting my shows out to y'all. They do a great job, and I really appreciate them. So here's to wishing you a fabulous 2022. Happy New Year's. Cheers. See you on the road.